You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Total Divas After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Total Divas After Show. Song, but that's okay. It's probably better than, than the actual stuff. The actual we'll let it go. We'll let it go. <laughs> Welcome to AfterBuzz TV for the after show for Total Divas Season 2, Episode 3. I don't know the name. I forgot, but it's something. It's probably to, something to do with Summer Rae. Something to do with Summer Rae being a snatch. All right, so <laughs> I am <laughs> Kaori Takei, and joining me as always, I've got my crew. We've got Christian Rosenberg. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm good. And next to you, the beautiful Charlotte Broadfield. Aww. Hi, everyone. Yay. Love Total Divas. Yeah, she was just yeah. talking about how it's um, my her favorite. favorite show. <laughs> I understand. It it's got a lot of drama, and it's got a lot of wrestling, too, so... And you've all, we've also made you um, kind of into wrestling. As yeah, well. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm watching more. I like it. Yeah, I like when you start the, tweeting us that you're watching even right? the, the big The big test is if she's going to sit and watch the four-hour WrestleMania on Sunday. You're more than welcome to join us. Um, maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe usually means no. Yeah. <laughs> we'll That's leave right. that up in the air for now. All right. <laughs> It's six days away. I mean, if I have nothing better to do, that maybe becomes a check mark. <laughs> I'll put it in my calendar. <laughs> so I want to say before we start the show that I officially like Eva Marie more than Summer Rae after this episode. Um, but overall thoughts before we get in. Don't like Summer Rae. <laughs> that was it. Go, gir gir <laughs> girls are weird. Why are girls weird? Are, they about, argue about everything. Are you talking about us or the total divas? Well, the gir girls that have a camera that follows them for reality shows are weird. See, that's funny that you <laughs> think that they argue about everything. Or when I'm watching it, I think it totally makes sense why they get mad at each other. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I mean, I think Brie had every reason to get mad. And Samurai is just stepping over the boundaries, you know? Right. Stepping over the line. Yeah. And I just found out that uh, the show was called Bree's Back. Can't read it. Back. Bad side. Bad side. <laughs> On nice. Bree's Bad Bree's Side. Bad side. <laughs> On Bree's Bad Side. That makes okay, sense. Okay, I guess it wasn't about uh, Summer I, I almost read well, it. That is, um, that is about Summer Well, Well, it's Summer about Summer but she's not in the title. But she is the bad side. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Because we have never seen Brie in such um, it was it was B I T C H mode. It was it was it was yeah. it was a Brie mode, but in like angry fashion. As one of our Twitter followers yeah. mm -hmm. said, and she also got uh, Brie and uh, Nikki to star it, and we were like, "Yay, we're yeah. in that little star thing!" <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Favorite it. <laughs> I know. That's right. Favorite it. <laughs> no, I preferred the little star thing. That's a better, it rolls off the tongue better. Do, 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 do. Like, you know, Super Mario star. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So let's start talking about first. I want to get into uh, the, the lighthearted issue of Trinity and John. John and Trinity have been on this bus for a while. And uh, John can barely keep his schlong in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely put. Yes. <laughs> Um, he wants to get it on in a dark place backstage. Obviously, Trinity doesn't feel comfortable because that's not enough coverage. And, and he, it's at work. And it's at work. <laughs> and but wasn't it Nikki that, that said they should do that? Was it Nikki or Brie? Oh, one of, the, one of them said later on, just find like some room. bedroom or something like that. that that'd be a private like little locker room somewhere. I, all I got to say is if it's I, really that, if you're really that horny, you just rent a hotel room. I mean, yeah, it, that's true. Eva and Summer did it. They don't have the time. They got to travel. But they have to stop somewhere. No, mm -hmm. that's what the bus is for. That's what Eva. Well, that's what Eva and Summer did last episode. Unless you guys are toying with uh, my facts here. 
they had, there was a place where they stopped at one yeah because when eva was on the phone to her boyfriend and summer came knocking and mm-hmm. she was kind of crying yeah right. there's always time to knock boots somehow somewhere <laughs> <laughs> Corey always makes time. Is what just... It's very important. <laughs> very, very important. Um, so, but John went a whole four days, guys. Come on. And four days. He couldn't wait any longer. So <laughs> I don't think they were doing it, but they were trying to. Was she topless? Yes. And then Brie caught them. It was funny when she ran, ran away. Yeah. No, the best part was then with John completely breaking the fourth wall. And just staring at the camera and be like, really, dude? Like, you I, really just blew my cover? You know, I got to say, when it comes to uh, the men superstars on this show, they like to kind of, it almost feels like they're making a joke that they're on a reality show. Because this episode, Daniel Bryan just stole the show. Bryan Danielson stole the show with his jokes, his comments about <laughs> natty pooping, about sex on the bus. It was just... <laughs> great it was yeah it was really great but um yeah what do you think of uh trinity and john almost getting caught brie seeing them working it why can't they have sex on the bus it was one of brian's rules because it was his bus but i don't know how serious he was about the his rules because one of them was pooping and he kept saying natty pooped on my bus but but he but i think based on the icy hot situation he was like okay well she she got her punishment for it herself <laughs> But, well, someone's got to poop, all right? So why did why You can't pull you... over to a Denny's. So you agree with him. Like, if we were riding a bus, you'd tell us not to poop on your bus. If the, if that was, if the toilet was right next to where everyone's hanging out, yes, I would th- make that rule. Oh, my gosh. I would never ride a bus with you. Look at your face. Yeah, like, that would be disgusting. Natural. It's natural. And this is really weird coming from Charlotte and I. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But... I am the most delicate one of the three of us, apparently. Totally reverse. I know. I mean, granted. I am the total diva of the set. But listen, like, I would not use Icy Hot where she did. I mean, they said she used it on her back and she bent down, but it, I think there's more to that. I thought yeah, that I, was weird. I thought Icy Hot were, like, packs that you wrap on no, you. No, you, you can get um, Yeah. Oh, there's, like, gel. a cream, too? Yeah. You can get gel. and But I still don't really understand how that happened. Mm-hmm. And I, it was an awkward moment, but I think really? it was just humor. That, that, was a little, that was a little embarrassing for her. Mm-hmm. Well, not she doesn't as, get embarrassed. She, yeah, that's kind of cute because you would expect someone of her stature to be a little more embarrassed about it. Yeah. But she laughed it off, and Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, kept making fun of her the whole time on the bus, <laughs> and she just laughed it off the whole time. Good, which, which is the best way to deal with that. Yeah. Because if she'd reacted, he would have kept going and going and going and mm-hmm. going. And... Same token, uh, John Uso wasn't too embarrassed about getting caught, and Trinity was actually very embarrassed about. Yeah. <laughs> were Were you two trying to have sex? Yes. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, They're cute. I like them. Oh yeah, I, I, like I love seeing his brother. Yeah, the twin brother oh, Jay yeah, yeah. finally yeah. made an appearance today. Yeah. He's like, oh, by the way, he has an identical twin that he teams with. And it makes all the sense. Well, you know who else should be embarrassed, um, but obviously not, is Cameron, because we saw her clip of her Boy Bye song, whatever. That future number one single. Your future number one single that TJ was For Rolling Out Magazine. He, oh. she was ma- <laughs> TJ was making fun of that song because he was like, is this really what you want women to, the young youth of America to get into? Yeah. Um, she said, yeah. She did. And I think she Tingle, was, tingle. Yeah, get that chingle chingle. Um, that was one of the names of uh, one of the episodes last year, last episode, uh, last oh, that's season. That's right. That's yeah. right. Get that. Ch- it was the episode where she was in the um, music pro- yeah. production area. And so I guess they liked it enough to name the song. I, well, she released her new single recently. The, the right? single was released. I have no idea as far as the numbers on how it's done. Um, but I'm guessing because I haven't heard anything, that means it hasn't done very well. Yeah. I I wouldn't expect it to do well. Sorry, Ariane. But she's complaining that the bus hasn't had a lot of, you know, interaction. Like, well, why are we yeah. not partying? Because it's not a party bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing I didn't really understand about the bus situation. That, I mean, that they're kind of taking this as a joke. Mm-hmm. They're traveling, you know, like people are wanting to have sex, party. Like, you guys are in the middle of a four-day tour. 
Like, you need to be getting rest and relaxing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, I agree. But at the same time, I felt like the fact that Brie and Daniel kept saying this was such a disaster. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. You're traveling with your friends. It's just four days. Obviously, there's going to be certain issues. Someone's going to poop on the bus. Okay, that just happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sex thing, I'm sure. But... It's not a disaster. They didn't have sex. Now, now, well, let's. If, is there a second bathroom that's farther down? Because you could use that one then. Oh my! Just God. not right next to where everyone's hanging out. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay. <laughs> I would. This let, bus is huge. I would let Natty use my bathroom <laughs> if she needed to. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't think the sex thing is that big of a deal. I don't think so either. I mean, his rules are pretty strict for this bus. And he did say, th she's like, I thought you locked the door. And Trinity, I mean, and John said, yeah, I did. And then he wasn't so sure after. <laughs> so I did, question mark. <laughs> I know. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. Daniel was a little too strict. Yeah. I kept calling him Daniel. Brian Danielson was a little strict. Um, and they, I just feel like Bree and Brian Danielson are just a little too straight edge sometimes. And if they let loose, they could have just maybe enjoyed the bus time a little more because a lot of things got them really uncomfortable a little too easy. These things happen. They do. I, I totally agree with you. And it was it was fun. I Like, they were all with their boyfriends or girlfriends, significant other, and they could have had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And the, I don't think Brie and Brian did. But the bus wasn't, yeah. but the bus wasn't meant to have fun on. The bus was meant to relax. Well, don't you want to have, well, if you have your friends with you, you might as well have fun too. You but can have a combination. Having, yeah, and having fun doesn't really, you don't have to party and stuff. You mm -hmm. can just hang out and enjoy the company around, which is kind of what they did the first night until, in the first episode, second episode, until the Eva yeah. and uh, Cameron thing. And and mm -hmm. and to be fair, if they're there Ariane. to re if they're there to relax, you shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable about pooping in the bath, uh, in the bus. <laughs> that just I don't know. I think it, it it could have been a lot better than it was. It wasn't a disaster like he exaggerated, in my opinion, humble opinion. <laughs> but there's a lot of issues that stemmed from the bus, like Summer Rae and Eva Marie's issue with Ariane. But before we get into Summer Rae and Summer Rae and more Summer Rae. Uh, Are we going to talk about Summer Rae? I think we might. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, she plays a small part in okay. this episode. I want to make sure because I thought I saw her this week. But guys, what do you think of Summer Rae? Let us know. Stop over on iTunes. Was that pretty good? That was all right. That thank was you, right. thank you. That was all right. uh, <laughs> stop over at the AfterBuzz TV iTunes for Total Divas. Rate, comment, let us know your thoughts about this episode of any episode. Let us know what you think about us tell us how we can improve tell us what you love and also go to youtube and comment because we keep that conversation going five stars and this was a really really good episode too it so was. i'm sure you guys have a lot to say and i feel bad that danielle's not here this week but she booked a gig and that's why she's not here but she'll be with us next week she will mm -hmm. she will our, and our full roster will she, be here next week. she will probably be commenting as well yes yeah so stop over all right so let's talk about summer and brie first because summer <laughs> I have to pause for a second, but Summer sits there and calls herself the newest one on the roster against Eva Marie. For me, I would kind of disagree with that because I feel like Summer Rae has been having more exposure than Eva well, Marie. Well, she's been, she's been in the company longer than Eva Marie. Yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, I watch wrestling and I feel that I'm more aware of who Summer Rae is than Eva Marie. I only know Eva Marie because of Total Divas. I know Summer Rae because of wrestling. So I, I felt like that was um, kind of like a production difference well yeah for the reality show yes. for people who might not follow wrestling summer ray to them is the newbie but that's why i, I kind of want to clarify for our viewers that summer ray is actually um slightly more of a veteran than eva marie yeah I, I i don't remember if i mentioned a week or two ago how she's been going through to the venomella she started down in nxt a few years ago uh -huh. as an announcer and then worked a wrestler and she still wrestles a little bit in nxt but she's on TV every week with Fandango and over the last several months has been wrestling on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, well. I mean, she's she's solid on, she's on the number one wrestling show, Raw, and then she's on SmackDown. She's working all the time. Mm -hmm. um, a lot more than Eva Marie is. But yeah. uh, for the sake of this show, it seems that Eva Marie is kind of her leader. <laughs> Eva Marie's the veteran. Yeah. So <laughs> I, that kind of... <laughs> 
You're like, uh. yeah. <laughs> but they're they're buddies. They they're roll dogs, I guess you can say, and they both have issues. Red and gold. Red and gold. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone please send a screenshot of that. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> I liked that. <laughs> so Eva Marie and Summer have joined forces to kind of um, talk smack and go against and support each other when it comes to the other divas who are more veterans. They all they agree that Natty kind of gets jealous and she's insecure and she should be acting more adult like, I guess. And they like uh, the, the Bella twins, but they they have a little issue with Natty. But right now, Eva Marie from our last episode has issues with Ariane, and Summer Rae has she's sitting there trying to build herself up. So she's going around in the locker room trying to make everything kosher between her and not the girls, but her and the male wrestlers. And one of the people she talks to is Brian Danielson. And Brie finds out about this and she gets upset because um, Summer wants to make things clear that she is concerned that the rumor of her sleeping with other men, that Daniel Bryan knows that that's not true and she cares about what she th what he thinks. And Brie gets pissed. Do you guys think that's a legitimate reason to be upset? Yes, but I didn't like how Nikki was in this situation because I feel like she was egging Brie on to mm. confront Summer Rae and being like, well, if that was John, I would be right over there. And when it happened, when she said something to John, when he was uh, in they mm. were physiotherapy, wherever he was, uh, I went right over and nipped it in the bud and kind of pushing her yeah to confront her i mean nikki and brie are, are they're twins but they have two different personalities yeah and nikki is the type that would just go up to her and mm -hmm. you're right she was egging brie and they she actually wanted to watch the thing exactly yeah and i didn't like that that brie uh, nikki was like let's let's go watch brian like daniel brian's and whatever his name is <laughs> <laughs> what are we what show what do we call him what show <laughs> like let's go watch and they both went and like spied and i just thought that was kind of high school it felt like high school. In fact, it looked like a high school gymnasium. So it was like the setting was perfect. It did, yeah. <laughs> um, but I thought that was kind of a bitch move on Summer Rae's part. Yes. Um, but I also do think that Brie didn't let her explain herself. Brie was cutting her off and just going off on her about talking to her, her boyfriend and all, fiance and all that stuff. My man. Yeah. So... In that sense, Brie should have been a little more rational because mm -hmm. she didn't let her speak. And even later, Summer Rae wants to talk to her about it and Brie doesn't want to hear it. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> what did she say? She said, take a hike or something. Well, she was basically... <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. I was like, nice. <laughs> yeah. She's basically saying, we're coworkers, but we're not friends. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that causes a lot of conflict for the, the divas division and, and them. But Christian, what do you what did you think? Um, I thought her putting her hands on Brian was an issue for Bree to or get mad at her. But Bree didn't see that. But Bree, yeah, Bree didn't know. No, that. but no, Brian told her. Oh, after he did. Brian that. told her that. He said she. He actually exaggerated. Well, too. he exaggerated as far as like the hug. He was like, it was like this. <laughs> um, Typical male. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but the thing is. Summer Rae is trying to work her way to be the top girl in the WWE. Well, she's got to, like, have be loved by everybody. Correct. And the most important people to be respected by are the top men. Mm -hmm. Because not to sound sexist in any way, but this is a men-driven business, the wrestling. Sexist. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> um, I apologize to all the women I might have offended by stating the fact in pro wrestling it's primarily men <laughs> but so she wants to straighten things out with john cena she wants to straighten things out with brian danielson she wants to straighten things out with randy Orton, like the top guys and if there's a rumor being spread about them about her well if it reaches the top guys that's gonna stick around and prevent her from escalating through I so so some girls some girls will innocently flirt She's not so innocent. But, she knows what she's doing. But yeah. I didn't. But in that little clip that she was there yeah. with Brian, I personally didn't see her flirting. Oh my god, are you joking? Yeah. I saw her trying to make sure that okay, I appreciate 
like I respect you and I don't feel that that you or I appreciate the fact that you know that I'm not sleeping around with people. You're about to get grilled. I like this. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I've never disagreed with you, but do you do not <laughs> think <laughs> you don't think that she was flirting with you? With him? With I, you? <laughs> you? If she was flirting with me, that'd be a different she story. She was putting her hands on him. Yep. She that, that's he, what I said. I said that was the one issue that I felt that Brie could have had. But she, no, I think the, way the, whole, she, the whole, the whole, the way she just presents herself. And she's got that flirty demeanor. She knows exactly what she's doing. She knows she has a hot body. Mm -hmm. She knows how to work it and get what she wants from those guys. Mm -hmm. And she knows. She's Ooh. not She's not trying to sleep with Brian. Because she's just trying to make sure that she has the top guy's respect. But, okay, let's be honest. Trish Stratus did the can, same thing years can I, ago. Can I say that I don't think a, a guy would not want to, would think that she has a lesser reputation and not, it would lose her career if she was actually promiscuous if it was women at the top that's different mm -hmm. but i don't think men care about that there was she had no she did not have to go up to those guys and explain herself yeah they hadn't even they'd forgotten all about exactly. it exactly like, like women remember and yeah like, mm, you yeah know, this girl i don't know oh they're, they're, she they're was totally flirting there 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 have been stories of of girls that have ended up hooked if they hooked up with with a wrestler like one of the top guys and that top guy got annoyed by her and didn't want her around. Guess what? That girl got fired. Well, just yeah, because you sleep with someone doesn't make you annoying. It's no, but no, I'm just saying as far as like there are issues where all of a sudden rumors happen or fit things physically happen. She's not necessarily tr making those things happen. She's just trying to get on a level playing field because she knows she has the talent and she has the good look to her. And she's trying to work her way up. But if she was that bothered, she wouldn't have done what she did at the end of the episode. Yes, that's true. And that that I mean, we'll get to. I mean, we'll get we'll, we'll get to <laughs> point that. blank. That we'll get to. <laughs> but her issue with Summer and Natty was just uh, the Summer Natty issue is very disappointing on kind of both both parts, but you know, Summer and Brie obviously have some issues. Summer wants to work out with Brie. She doesn't seem to care about Natty. And let's talk about real quick Nikki gathering a little powwow for the Divas. I thought good I for impressed. Nikki. Good for yes. Nikki. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was really Being good. a leader. They all sat there and they all, you know, kind of made, fixed things. First there was Eva and Ariane. And finally Eva Marie kind of accepted her apology. Mm -hmm. And she, it, I was humbled by Eva for once. Because Eva actually said something along the lines that, you know, she is insecure because she's new that when something happens to her, she really just wants to show it off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was kind of... And I can cool. kind of see where she's coming from. Mm -hmm, me too. But it's just a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. And I think she's probably learned from this situation that she has to tone it down a little. Yeah. Because she's not being as annoying this, this yeah. season. Yeah. <laughs> and then and, and then Summer and Brie fix things up. Uh, you know, Summer somewhat apologized. Summer does admit she is single and flirtatious. She did mm -hmm. admit that. But when it came to Summer and Natty... Summer said, I don't I don't have any issues with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Which was complete B. All right. Well, let, let's let's try this again. Let let let's let's reenact this. <laughs> let's reenact the scene. You be you be Natty start talking. I'm going to be Summer Rae. Yeah, so uh, I I, I agree. It was so bad. I can't even do this anymore. <laughs> I, I know. I don't know why you I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem. Yeah, I don't see a problem. I, don't, I know what what's know, going on? What do you what's wrong? I don't know what you're talking what, about. Huh, huh, it just huh? made it look stupid. <laughs> it made her look like a a I, B word. Yeah. It did because a basket, a basket. It made her, it made her look like a basket because <laughs> <laughs> Natty's sitting there trying to open up, trying to fix things. So there's no tension between the divas division, but Summer is blocking that out. And the fact that she can't even admit that there's something going on, right? That's not nice. That's not cool. No. And let's say. Let's say devil's advocate here. Summer doesn't have any issues with Natty. She could have said, and that opened the door. I don't have a problem with you, but you can tell me right here, right now, what your problems are with me. Mm -hmm. She just shut her down completely. And, and again, playing playing devil's advocate because yes, Summer was completely in the wrong here. But Natty could have brought up there the issue with the um, action figures and like the eight by tens over there. Oh my gosh! Let's talk about the action figures because Summer was being a complete basket right there too. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. You basket. <laughs> Hashtag basket. 
<laughs> because you know okay eva marie's got her action figure mm-hmm. summer uh, summer natty's got her action figure and summer kept forcibly saying that natty's action figure looks better than the real person how long ago was that photo taken that the photo is ancient because she looks older now it, it was just really bad and really rude it's just yeah. it just makes her look not like a nice person she's she is not coming off like a genuinely nice person mm-hmm. she's one of those people that constantly puts you down and wherever you say something it's she shuts you down and in a patronizing way not in a way not in a really mean way, mm-hmm. but she's just patronizing and doesn't make you feel good. And to an onlooker, it might not look as bad as it is just from one situation, but it's all the time. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And I think it just, from the very first episode of this season, um, Natty and Natty felt threatened and she kind of made a joke about the other blonde. But since then, Summer has been very aggressive slash defensive toward Natty. Yeah. And... But Summer was saying, I'm not going to be the, I'm, I'm sick of being the pushover. She's been feeling Ugh. supposedly like, oh, I'm just being passive and letting people do things. And biting her tongue. I know. <laughs> yeah. I, and I was like, what are you talking about? I feel like you have no filter. <laughs> I don't want to see you, what you, you normally you, you, don't have, you don't have much of a filter and you're biting your tongue? Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, you're going to all the men, making sure that they know or think that that rumor isn't true. Uh, you don't care too much about how your fellow divas feel. Including Natty, so how mm-hmm. are they going to fix things? But yeah. then, but then, when Natty talks to her friend Fandango, well, yeah, Natty talks to Fandango because she's frustrated at the meeting at the round table. Mm-hmm. Uh, Summer doesn't really open up, but Summer sees that they're talking, and that's when she blows up. She says, "No, you are not bringing my partner into this." But to be fair, I advocate for Natty because Fandango is kind of the one that opened that door. You know, he's kind of the one saying, hey, I want to I want to know what's happening because exactly. she's my partner. And he wants to make she, sure she's improving. Yeah. And she's a reflection of me. So I want to know what's going mm-hmm. on. It's not like Natty came over and said, hey, yo. Yeah. yeah she's not being the gossipy type to yeah. just go over and say, hey, look, Summer is not. Da-da-da-da. She was responsive. Yeah. But she wasn't <laughs> yeah. the one that initiated that mm-hmm. conversation. And I think that Summer Rae took it way to the next level. Yeah. By going to her house uninvited before NXT and uh, saying she wants to talk to Natty. And the moment Natty calls her something slutty. A stripper. Stripper, all, all you're, of the you're, above. You're, you're, you're like stop. ringer almost looks like it's a stripper. Yes. She slaps her. The slap heard around the E! Network slash wrestling world. <laughs> On Sunday from 9 to 10. Yes. <laughs> wow. On her Odd property. Too. It was a hard one. It, it's, it's interesting to have her slap her by her doorway of her home right it's like you're summer Rae's on natty's property in natty's territory summer Rae, what are you doing that mm-hmm. that's that's natty's area of being away from everything mm-hmm. and what i find in, i mean nxt is in orlando natty's mm-hmm. house is in tampa so summer Rae veered i don't know where summer Rae lives but she made the time apparently to go to tampa yep to Slap Natty in the face before going to NXT. Yeah, and then... What a distraction. Natty kicked her out of her property. Yeah. The one thing I kind of wished about this um, slap was that we didn't see the slap until yesterday because we've been waiting for it all week and we got it at the very end of the episode. I was like... You knew it was coming. Yeah. Yeah, because the way they teased it, it was... It was one of those movie trailers that gave away the ending. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it, the way they tease it, you're like, oh, there's a slap. Maybe Natty's going to slap back, but it was... Lock on the sharpshooter in her front yard. That, oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Summer, you know, Summer is... Um, she loves her body. She works it out hard. And she went to the seamstress, Sandra, who, by the way, I think should get more recognition because she's great. She has to put up with all of them. She put- all of them. <laughs> and Summer Rae goes there and shows a skimpy, um, like what's the word ring gear outfit or something it was her it was the ring attire she was given which was kind of like almost like a shorter one piece it was like a flapper one piece it yeah was like a dress it was a cute dress um and summer is not happy because it doesn't it doesn't show, show it doesn't you know. show her skin exactly so obviously summer wants to flaunt what she's got and obviously that makes the other girls uncomfortable yeah so she does if you i mean if you watch wwe wrestling and you see 
the divas. Now, most of the divas, most of their outfits tend to reveal quite a bit, mm-hmm. and it's just kind of part part of the part of the business. But Summers reveals more yeah. than everyone else's. And not only because she is a quote unquote ballroom dancer esque uh, routine with Fandango, but she has a body for it and she she likes it that mm-hmm. way. But to be fair, a lot of them show a lot of skin. Well, that's what I'm saying. A lot of them the do, Bella but Summer shows the most. Do. Bella show a lot. Um, Ariane shows a lot. Every, I think everyone does in their own way. Even Natty, she has like the sheer pants where you can see almost everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah. she is still technically wearing pants. <laughs> but sheer. A sheer on the side. But see through. On the side. <laughs> But you see them from all different angles. Because if because if it was see through in the front or back, she wouldn't be allowed out there. I would love to see you in sheer pants. Can you do that for us? Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna film it, but um, <laughs> we can. Yeah. We can. That's that's the after after buzz. <laughs> but um, so those are the main points. But I want to mention also because uh, it's important to note that Brian Danielson did get injured during a fight, a steel cage match with the Usos, mm-hmm. um, and that's when Bree realized that. It's not so important to be arguing with Summer, but it's important to be with her man. Yeah. Um, Which is true. It is true. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when in the heat of the moment, when you're angry, that becomes stronger at that point. Completely. I have a question. Do you guys think that Natty is being, she's not acting like a veteran, the way she is kind of dealing with Summer, right? I I don't think she's necessarily not acting like a veteran, but she's, she's more... I think she's more jealous than she should be. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, she's still kind of the veteran. She's still the leader back there. I mean, she, she's the, she, she seems like the type that just has certain insecurities. I mean, we all do. Uh-huh. But, Definitely. But, you know, she, she feels threatened when uh, any girl spends time with TJ. Yeah. Um, she feels uncomfortable when any, any girl sh- comes by that she might be the next Divas champion. Mm-hmm. You know, so she does. A girl, have... she's afraid. She, she's, she's very paranoid that her spot is going to be taken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, one of our viewers asked a question, and uh, I wanted to address that for on her behalf. It is um, Foxy Diva. Yeah, she, Foxy Diva. She wanted to ask. Um, on Total Divas, them being on Daniel Bryan's bus, it seemed like they traveled the whole week together, but since they have house shows, house shows are like off-air shows mm-hmm. that they travel yeah, Non-televised around. events. Mm-hmm. Some of them wouldn't be riding on the bus. Do you think they travel for two days out of the week instead of five or seven? Basically, how realistic? It, well, well, they were doing a four-city tour as far as televised events. And in between those are non televised Generally, their schedule, <clears throat> they tape Monday, they tape Tuesday, they're off Wednesday and Thursday, and then they tend to tape Friday, Saturday, or live events, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm-hmm. However, not everyone is needed for all of those events. And, I mean, sometimes they'll do two events on the same night in different locations. So, so the answer is five or seven. So as far as, <laughs> as far as how many nights were they all driving together in the bus, I would guess it'd be... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm guessing six. So so two lots of six. Two lots of three. Yes. So basically, John and Trinity, essentially, if, if your facts are correct, could have had sex in between on a hotel somewhere. Just Maybe. saying. Yes. Maybe. So thanks for the question. And uh, if any viewers have any other questions, tweet us because we will address them. Yes, we will. Um, okay, let's, uh, any other topics? Um, to I wanted to bring up Natty's Make-A-Wish. Which oh, I thought was, was yeah. badass because I—that's my—that's <clears throat> possibly my my most favorite thing about the WWE is all the charity and Make a Wish things they do. Well, I'm surprised it was back. her first Make a Wish. Well, because there there are plenty of wrestlers. Because most of the time when people submit a Make a Wish, they wish for the top person. Right. But so like, unfortunately, there are some people that don't get many, if any, at all. But she she's a top diva, and I'm surprised that she, being a veteran, that was her first Make a Wish. And... She's never really been the top diva. But she's in my heart, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I thought I thought it was great. She was, and I, I loved how excited she was for it, and the fact that she gave her jacket from the first WrestleMania that she got to perform in twenty five. Yeah, that's insane. Like that's 
that's something that if you one day are so famous you get a museum, that's the very first thing you see. I know. It's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. And that just gave her so much heart right there. Yeah, yeah it did. No pun intended. <laughs> you spelled heart with an E. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thanks for pointing that out because that was a good one. That mm -hmm. was a very Kodak moment. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about some uh, predictions since we don't really have much news and gossip. All right. And now, Unless you guys have news and gossip. TV. You can throw it in I here somewhere. Uh, well, well f um, it's kind of been announced as far as for WrestleMania. I don't think we talked about it last week, the WrestleMania match that was announced involving the Divas. Oh, yeah, go ahead and bring it. I think we did, but um, maybe not. Well, the champion, AJ did. Lee, who you briefly kind of see on each week, like sitting at commentary for the most part during these episodes, apparently she's defending the Divas title against everyone. All the It is divas. a 14 Diva match. Which is going to be ridiculous. And it's they haven't announced the type of match it's going to be yet, but every single diva, including Eva Marie, is going to be in this WrestleMania match. It's going to kind of, not so much, but kind of look like the Christmas Raw episode where all the total divas were in their little skimpy elf, elf gear doing it. Yes, but that was also a tag team yeah. match. This is to pin one person I'm to become I'm, the champion. I'm talking about the, the chaos that it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. and, and also, this is actually the first time in I believe seven years that either the women's or divas title is being defended at WrestleMania. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. They've had a women's match almost every year, like that's involved women. Think. Yeah. The last one I believe was WrestleMania twenty three. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah. And this is WrestleMania thirty. Yeah, you guys can tune in to our after show on Sunday about that. As yeah, well. you can. Because we will be watching and tweeting live. And maybe Charlotte will stick around maybe and try to watch at least part of it. She'll be like, all right, I'll hang out. <laughs> um, we'll call her when the Divas match happens. <laughs> I'll tune into that. Okay. Yeah, maybe we, I will. Maybe I'll watch. You should. Okay. Just, just yeah. hang out. I'm, yeah. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> news and, uh, predictions, guys. Well, I predict. I think Natty might be actually hurt. You, we see her uh lying with the doctor like and looking in his in her nose and she has to have surgery right. so she's actually hurt she got hurt by samurai and i think the girls might all kind of just gang up with natty and just be like samurai whoa mm -hmm. this is an interesting season because now we're going like for a number of weeks in a row where we're watching somebody get hurt because mm -hmm. it's also showing more of the quote-unquote reality of wrestling because people get hurt i mean we saw uh nikki get hurt with her tooth we saw brian get hurt today next week we're going to talk about natty and her nose later on in the season we're going to be talking about uh trinity and her eye yeah so it's bringing the harsh realization that okay these these gorgeous girls with incredible bodies beat themselves up why is all that, the time why is that uh, ridiculous because they're gorgeous well no it's just like the ridiculous <laughs> notion well for reality show people it's just like oh these girls got these jobs because they're hot no because they have to be physical and they're brave enough to do it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's true um now i lost my train of thought but i was thinking of oh and now i remember i said this at the beginning of this um after show but i'm going to say it again i can't believe that i like eva marie now because i have to give it a week someone new give it a week like <laughs> I Let's wait for a new story from Eva Marie. I, just, I feel like <laughs> Eva Marie had more just um, awkwardness being the newbie rather than being a complete basket, you know? Yeah. Complete basket. <laughs> I like this word, basket. Yeah. Hashtag basket. Because there's a lot of basketness on this show, so we'll be using that. You son of a basket. I saw the preview for the April 13th episode. That's right. So. Oh, because I believe, actually, that there will not be a there, Total Divas next Sunday because there, of WrestleMania. There is no believe. It's a fact. The, they're doing it right this time because usually they, they do air a Sunday Total Divas during a pay-per-view. They're not doing it this time, which I think is a smart move. Yeah. So we will catch you guys in, in about in two, two weeks. weeks. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, guys, where can people tweet, ask questions, and all that juicy stuff? You can find me at Charlotte B underscore TV on Twitter and Instagram. I just changed it today. Okay. She's keeping Again. you on your toes, Again. people. She's keeping Sorry. you on your toes. <laughs> say, say it one more time. Say it one more time. Charlotte B underscore TV. Okay. Right now, mine's the same. It might change soon. But for now, <laughs> it's still C Rosie VOC on Twitter. And mine is K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S, Kaorius, on Twitter as well as Instagram. And you can catch all of us here at AfterBuzz TV. And we will catch you guys in two weeks.
from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later, later baskets! baskets. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.